morning. Thanks for joining me for today's virtual story time from Ida Public Library. It is Wednesday, which means this story time will feature our grab and go craft of the week. I can't wait to share it with you. But before we get started with the craft, I want to read a book. This is one of Miss Sydney's favorite summertime books. It's called My Octopus Arms. It's a book by Keith Baker. And before we get started reading, I want you to take a look at our octopus here on the front cover. How many arms does an octopus have? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octopus have eight arms. How many arms do you have, friend? Yeah, does an octopus have more or less arms than you? Yeah, more arms for sure. I wonder what kind of things he can do with eight arms. Let's see. In my octopus arms, I keep bigger. Octopus, what can all your eight arms do? Oh, little crab, let me show you. My arms can knit a sweater, write a letter, bake a pie, and wave goodbye. Can you do a wave? My arms can tie a bow, perform a show, strum a chord, or saw a board. Let's pretend we're going to saw a board. Get your saw, go back and forth, back and forth. Ooh, very strong. You're kind of like octopus. My arms can do all this and more. My arms can play games of chess, clean up a mess, drag a stick, or take a photo. Click, click, click. My arms can stir the pots, untangle knots, tip a hat, and swing a bat. Friends, what sport are you playing if you swing a bat to hit a ball? Yeah, you're playing baseball. Very good. Yes, my arms can do all that. My arms can pull on socks, unlock the locks, dig a hole, and climb a pole. My arms can catch the fishes, wash the dishes, build a wall, or bounce a ball. What do you think? Can he just bounce one ball? No, he can bounce many balls, can't he? That'd be pretty fun to do with all eight arms. Play a sport of any sort. My arms can do it all. Look at this sports equipment you see, friends. What kind of sports do you see? A football, a bowling ball, a soccer ball. Very good. This sport is called badminton. You use this racket to hit a little birdie. best? The crab asks. Well, did you know my octopus arms can grow and grow? What does he see? The little friend. How's the friend feeling? Kind of sad. And reach out wide and pull somebody to my side. With a hug, not too tight. My arms can make it feel all right. My arms can do this anytime. All arms can. Yours and mine. It ends with a hug. Friends, can you give yourselves a big hug? Squeeze a big hug. Excellent job, great work. So we read our story about the octopus arms and how many arms do the octopus have? Eight, very good. Can you show me eight fingers? Five on this hand, three on this hand is eight fingers. That's almost all our fingers, isn't it? What if we put up these other two? How many fingers do we have all together? Hmm, I know a special song that can help us remember how many fingers we have. Do you wanna sing it with me? All right, get your hands ready. Put all your fingers away. How many fingers on both hands? How many fingers on both hands? 
How many fingers on both hands? Let's all count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many? There are ten. Very good. Let's sing it one more time, okay? Tuck all your fingers away. How many fingers on both hands? How many fingers on both hands? How many fingers on both hands? Let's all count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, wiggle all your fingers. Excellent job. We may not have eight arms like an octopus, but we do have ten wiggly fingers that can help us do so many things, like paint a picture. Let's explore our grab-and-go craft of the week, where we can paint all sorts of beautiful pictures using different materials. Come on. All right, friends. We're in my kitchen at the table, and I opened up my plastic grab-and-go bag to take out all of my supplies. You'll see there's a smaller plastic bag inside that has two containers of paint. And all the paint was a little different. We tried to give a big mix of colors. So Miss Sydney grabbed a pack that has green and yellow paint. And then you'll see there's all these other things. We can explore, we can touch them. I've got a couple of pipe cleaners that feel fuzzy some soft cotton balls, two pieces of felt. This kind of fabric is called felt, a bunch of feathers, and some tin foil. Hmm. I also got these two clothes pins. And what you do is you put your fingers on both ends and you can pinch them to go open and shut. Then we've got our piece of paper and this QR code that your grown up can help you with later. So this grab and go craft is a painting craft where we use these clothespins to grab different painting materials. We're gonna explore different ways to paint using cotton balls and pipe cleaners and felt and even some tin foil. So you can open up your two containers of paint and you might wanna have some paper towels or some wipes ready just in case you make a little bit of a mess. But you can pinch the different materials in your clothespins. I'm going to start with a cotton ball. I'm also going to use one of these awesome pipe cleaners. I wiggled it up like this so that I can pinch my clothespin with it. And then all you do is you dip it in your paint and you explore different ways to paint using the different materials. Grown-ups, this is an example of sensory painting. Your child's going to have a different experience painting with each object based on how it feels when they press it against the paper. It's also good to practice their fine motor skills to pinch the clothespins and grab each of their supplies. So you can mix your colors together. You can explore other materials that you might have around your house if you wanted to try painting with those two. And I can't wait to see what you create. The last part of our grab and go kit that I want to talk about is the QR code that you'll find in each bag. By scanning this QR code, it will take you to a website that has more related ideas for activities you can do together at home. This week's QR code takes you to a website with awesome sensory play ideas. Sensory play is a great brain builder, especially for kids under six years old, because by invigorating their senses while they learn, it helps strengthen connections in their brain. So this website has some great ideas that are low to no cost and often use some of the materials that you already have lying around at home. I hope that you have fun creating your paintings. If you want to share a picture with us, we always love to see your hard work. We miss crafting with you at the library. So post a picture down below in the comments to share with all of your storytime friends. Remember, participating in our virtual programs also earns you points towards your missions on the summer challenge. We'll see you again tomorrow for bedtime stories with Miss Kaylee and our weekly science spotlight. See you later, friends.